Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Destiny. I'm Death from Above. This is me. It's my warlock. And that is Zer. Let's go see what he's got. I wonder. I got no idea. It's Friday. There's been all sorts. Oh, look. It's Telesto. <sighs> well, if you weren't part of the party before, you are part of the party now. Get in here and get this Telesto. You know you want it. It's acting all kinds of weird. We got a lot of other guns. We're going to take a look at them. I'll make some picks, show you the exotics. We'll grab this Ingram at the end and uh, take a look at the stuff. He always has a rotating hawk moon and dead man's tail. If you got the glimmer, apparently I don't have the glimmer. Uh, snapshot, moving target. Those are both good PvP rolls on those guns. I don't know about the rest of the perks, though, because the barrel and the mag can change, too. Alloy magazine, arrowhead break, heavy grip. Uh, Light.gg has that one rated at a D, which is bad. In this dead man's tail, they've got rated at a... C, moving target, flared magwell, chamber compensator. I don't mind that roll. I think both of those rolls are actually pretty decent. If I don't know if you can get them if you don't have the gun already, but if you don't have the gun already and you can get them, go ahead and buy them. They're worth it. Uh, the armor down here. Let me just show you on light.gg what it says. Because we, I can just pull it up and I can show you the armor without having to go to all the different uh, characters. So here are the armors and the stats. It looks like the knucklehead radar... Has a 62. Capri's Horn has a 64. Starfire Protocol has a 67. That looks real good on the Starfire Protocol. I like the high resilience. I'd pick that Starfire Protocol up. Uh, helmet's good on the war or on the hunter. High discipline and strength with resilience. Yes, yes. No. Uh, Warlock chest piece looks pretty good. Warlock boots look pretty good. All the boots look pretty good, actually, unless you want a lot of mobility. Or unless you don't want a lot of mobility, so. Uh, looks looks pretty decent as far as the armor goes. So the boots are decent with a lot high strength, uh, and the chest piece is decent with high mobility. Maybe not the best. I don't know. But here's the fun part: the guns. I like seeing what he brings. So we got a survivor's epitaph hand cannon with. Okay, yours is not going to have that many unless you've run a lot of crucible. Mine has a lot of extra perks because I've run a lot of crucible this season, and it's a crucible weapon. Uh, extended barrel, fluted. Flared alloy. I believe it's going to have firmly planted an osmosis. Yes, it will. You see how mine disappeared? That's funny. The game can't quite figure it out. I don't think this is a bad roll because it's got a reload masterwork. Flared magwell. Fluted. If you want to use a 180 in PvE, that would be a good one. Not going to lie. Uh, GN7. Pulse rifle. Firmly planted dragonfly with range. Appended SPO. 20, the 26 is pretty good. 52 will give you more uh, range think yeah so pvp maybe if you like sliding um, my favorite grid skipper pvp pulse rifle this one's not the best roll heating up thresh does have armor piercing arrowhead and range i can recommend picking this up pick pick this one up again it's good i like it you're gonna you won't be disappointed in pvp with that sojourner's tail shotgun ah hadn't seen this one in a while can't see it yet either uh what do we got tunnel vision that's good. Opening shot. Uh, reload. Hammer forge. Small bore. Steady rounds. Extended. That one's confused. Is it a slug? It's a slug frame though, but it's got reload. Uh, I would rather it have more range or handling. Not reload speed, but tunnel vision opening shot is going to be really good. Maybe PvP with it and see how it goes. They're pretty cheap. Buy it. See how it goes. Uh, punching out. I actually want one of these again. I, ha I don't have one. Uh, wellspring. Surplus. Good PvE rolls right here with handling. Not a big fan of that in PvE. I wanted to try it out in PvP, but I need a different roll. And then we got Shattered Cypher. I do like this machine gun. It's a bullet hose, but it looks freaking awesome. Surrounded, heating up, tactical mag, full bore, polygonal with a reload speed master. That's a good PvE uh, shredder. It's a high rate of fire machine gun. I like the Shattered Cypher. That's a fun one. Take take that one into PvE and have some fun with it. Does it, have a, it does not have an origin trait, no. And then we got Stars and Shadows Pulse Rifle. This is another. It's another PvP weapon. I've gotten a lot of rolls on this one. And I do have a really good one. Field Prep Kill Clip. See, they keep popping up because it's like, you've done a lot. Do you want more rolls on this? Yes, I do. But I don't know if I buy it if it's going to actually do that. I do have a God Roll of the Stars and Shadow. We might take a look at it later this week on stream. You should come by the stream sometime. Arrowhead break, appended alloy, hammer forge, stability. This one doesn't need a lot of stability. It's got pretty good stability already. Kill clip's really good. Field prep's okay. 
I don't know. I would definitely pick up the Grid Skipper because I love it. This would be a great PvE hand cannon, great PvE machine gun. These all seem kind of meh to me today. As far as the roles go, how they're rated on light.gg, you can see Telesto is Telesto. Buy it. Uh, Survivor's rated as a C. Shattered is a C. GN's an F. Sergeant Shadow's a D. Grid Skipper's a D. Sojourner's is a C. Punching Out's a D. Nothing here really screams at me you gotta buy it. I would get this if you want a fun PvE hand cannon. Get this if you don't have it for PvP. I love it. Um, this one, try it out. I don't know. Sojourners could be fun. Could be a lot of fun. But what do you think, chat? Which one are you getting? What are you getting from Zur? We got to grab this. Hit the like button while I click this. And let me know. Ah, yes. Controverse. Hold. I am very controverse. That's a good roll. I will keep it. And put it in my other one or put my other one in that chat. That's what she said. Where is it? I don't know. I probably have an ornament on it. And I can't find it. Or it's in my inventory. But chat, thanks for watching. Hit the like button on your way out. Let me know what you're doing, what you're buying, and what you're looking forward to. Telesto, Telesto, Telesto. Chat, I'm trying to do the Zur video. This. Still happening. Telesto. Telesto, Telesto. Telesto, 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 Telesto. It's Telesto. Have you heard that it's Telesto? Also, we gotta do a thing. Hold. Hold, please. It's in here somewhere. I did the code already. I want to know where it is. I don't know where they would have put it. It's an emblem. It's gonna be an account. They said it was in your collections, if you got it. Tell me where the emblem is for the, uh, there it is. Give me that Schrodinger's gun. We gotta put it on before we can do the Zur video. It's very important. Where is Zur? It looks like he's on Nessus. That's the tree, isn't it? All right, first of all, very important. Very important. We did it. Ah, look at us. We are part of the problem now, not the solution. All right, go into Nessus. We're gonna see what Zur got. He gonna be in a tree. I think he's only got three places he can show up. He's got three looks, and that's it. Nessus, EDZ, and the tower. He used to show up other places. I wish he was still, I wish you still had to go search for him. I wish you didn't know where he was. I wish he could appear in a thousand places and we had to go find him every day or every Friday. That was always fun. Alas, never to be again, or maybe, I don't know. I'm just sitting here talking, talking while we load, talking while we load into Zer's tree. I wonder, chat, I have no idea what he has. Oh, wink. A wink almost popped my contact out. I got no idea what Zer's got. No clue. I wonder what it'll be. Oh. <sighs> Chat, they're doing it again. Tell them to get out of here with these sparrows. Get out of here. No, I'm on a warlock. Freaking jump. Warlock, your jump sucks. Like, there's a lip right there that's a pain in the butt. All right, Zer. Sup to death from above. Will that get a dumb death from above suits like some man's? Will he get a hit? Find out next time on stream.